continue with this crazy pattern, but today we're going to see the temperatures really, really on the cold side. Can already feel it. Raw. Yeah, oh my gosh. So different, and we do have snow on the way. Yay! Sylvie, Mike, I just know. Put that snow suit on. I did not yes. put the snowsuit away. It Do is still on the not. table, I'm, waiting. I am thinking, you know, a few snow showers today, but I, I'm thinking Tuesday morning. Tuesday. If you're home with that baby, oh, I'll be home. You might get to, you might get to go out. Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. I don't want you to get excited. We're not talking half a foot of snow. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Beautiful Bethlehem. Boy, are you cold this morning? And you are going to only get colder as the day wears on. You'll probably hover somewhere in the mid 30s out there for today with a wind. Chill in the 20s much of the day. So different than the day that we started yesterday, right? Let's take a look at those numbers again because I want to show you that change. It's 33 in Philadelphia, 27 in Allentown, 35 in Wildwood. Now let's look at the 24 hour change. We are 26 degrees warmer in Philadelphia this hour today as opposed to the same time yesterday. Uh, 30 degrees uh, warmer, or it was 30 degrees warmer yesterday, 30 degrees colder today in uh, Dover, and 22 degrees colder at Mount Pocono. Uh, this is the feels like temperature 12 at Mount Pocono, 24 in Philadelphia, and 29 in Wildwood. So we are back to winter. But we don't have it as bad as everybody else. Take a look across the nation. We go to Glendive in uh, Montana. It is a brisk 33 below zero. That's the actual air temperature. Chicago, five below. Wichita, three below. Uh, Miami, a balmy 68. That's just sort of a slap in the face, isn't it? Hey, look at Dallas, 16 degrees right now. Columbus at 13 degrees. Let's factor in the winds. It's even worse. Feels like 33 below in Glendive. Feels like 38 below in Sioux Falls. We are looking at a 28 below in uh, Chicago. And uh, yes, Miami continues to be a balmy 68 degrees. Here's where we're going. Today. We're going up to uh, either side of 40 degrees, and then we'll see temperatures cascade off. We'll be into the 20s by 9 o'clock tonight. Hard freeze is on the way. If you've not winterized things because temperatures have bobbled up and down, you really need to do so and make special preparations for your pets. They're not used to this super cold either. We haven't been this cold in generally more than a year. This is going to be a long cold streak. We are going to be starting the morning in the low 20s, and we're going to climb to only about 30 degrees for tomorrow, and it's going to even feel worse by the time we get into Wednesday. So here's what we're tracking. Snow showers out there for today. This front comes through, brings a few snow showers, but brings much colder air behind it, so a second push of cold air. Dangerous cold is going to be with us all week, and Monday night, into the first part of Tuesday. We could be talking about some snow out there. So here we go. We have clear skies uh, right now, but here is that little wave. It is a cold front that is just off to the west of us. Dangerous cold air behind it. This will push some of these scattered snow showers through the area. And yes, you could pick up a half inch. Some people could pick up more than an inch. This is going to start about mid morning up into the Poconos, crossing Philadelphia, oh, but sometime between about 11 and 1. And we could see a little bit of mixing because, of course, the temperature will be above freezing, making it down the shore with a little bit of mixing as well. Then we're going to clear out. It will be extremely cold tonight. There'll be no warmth left in here. We're going to the teens and 20s tonight. Tomorrow, we will wake up and we'll see some clouds down the shore. We'll see some sunshine, but clouds move in. And here we are, 10 o'clock tomorrow night. This is the system we've been. Been talking about for several days. Mostly overnight at this point is the time people where you see the darker shades of blue. That's where we could pick up an inch or two, maybe even more. It could affect your morning commute, the tail end of your morning commute at this point. It looks like it's out of here pretty quickly with just a little final pass right around the noon hour of some snow coming in and then clearing out by the time we get into Tuesday night for the coldest day yet on Wednesday. We have alerts nationwide, all of the center of the country. These are all cold weather mm -hmm. alerts. And then we've got all these winter warnings and such going on everywhere else. For tonight, we're dropping to 21 in Philadelphia, 18 in Allentown, 25 in Wildwood tomorrow, right around 32 in Philadelphia, 33 in Wildwood, and 31 in Allentown. The next seven days, they are cold. Be prepared. We're looking at 34 on Tuesday. That's the day that we could see the snow in the morning. 28 for a high on Wednesday. Only 28. Look at the teens overnight. Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, and we're still in the deep freeze all the way into the weekend. So I need you to have that big puffy coat for you and that adorable snowsuit mm. for the baby because I want to see pictures to you. Oh, you'll, you know you'll see pictures. Yeah. Probably see too many of them. All right. <laughs> you, you can share your <laughs> snowsuit too, Howard. You wear your snowsuit. You got it. You got it.